Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got a good video today, one I've been wanting to make for quite a while. We have our Armor Guard holster, and I've been carrying it for about a month, and it is a really nice holster. So today I am going to show you a close up, and we're going to do a review on the Armor Guard holster. So if you're unfamiliar with Armor Guard holsters, please check out the website, armorguardholster.com. I will include the link in the description. Also, Pete is a fantastic guy, and he has an awesome YouTube channel called The Armory Channel. Please check that out as well. And I will also include his information in the description. So, Pete makes all these holsters by hand. Everything is done by hand. He's a small business, but he does a heck of a job. He's a great guy. Um, and I think he makes a great holster. I've been carrying it for a month and I'm really enjoying it. Not sure if you'll be able to see it really well. But I had him do Gunlocker 75 engraved in the holster. These holsters start at $45, free shipping anywhere in the United States. Uh, it's $10 for engraving, and obviously, like anything, you know, uh, they can go up depending on what you want to do. But he literally, this is for my Glock 33, by the way, the 357 SIG. Uh, it's the same as a Glock 27 holster or a 26 holster. I had reached out to Pete. So it's really important. If you don't see it on his website, shoot him an email. It's info at armorguardholsters.com. Shoot him a, uh, an email and ask him because, you know, he doesn't have Glock 33 listed on there, but it's the same gun. And, you know, there could be some things that he could do that he may not necessarily have on the website. So, I had reached out to him and he said, yep, no problem. This is the OD green. Uh, he, he generally carries like three standard colors, black, OD green, and coyote brown, or FDE. I wanted to point out that Pete does a black leather texture holster. I've never seen this before. I went with the 1.75 clip. Uh, kind of did that by accident. I think I usually do the 1.5, but I'm kind of glad I did the 1.75. I'll show you why in a few. But everything is extremely smooth. You can see the trigger guard. I mean, he literally sands and smooths all this out by hand. So I just think that's extremely cool. Not to mention he's an awesome guy, awesome company, and I like to support things like that. But I think it's really cool when you go back old school and it's all handcrafted, it's not by done by machine. So anyways, um, the fit is spectacular. He's got all that dialed in. I made zero adjustments. Um, obviously he's got the tension screw here, but it's got a nice positive that's nice positive click, retention, digging it. Really want you guys to check this out. Let's get in for a closer look. So I told you that I went with the 1.75 inch clip and I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I ordered a bigger clip, but it's not really a big deal. I could, uh, always get another one the next time I order a holster through them, but I don't think I need it. What I like is there is a little bit of movement because I went with a bigger clip, but you still, it still catches your belt. So because I carry appendix and when I go to sit down, you have that little bit of movement in the clip in order to pull it up and sit down, which you don't have with the 1.5. So, my mistake ended up being a good thing. I think I'm going to go 1.75 from now on because just that little bit of movement 
when you're sitting in the car or sitting down or whatever is is awesome but it still grabs you know it's not it's just you have a slight little bit there what's that a quarter inch um but no problems so anyways i walk three miles every morning and the moment i got this from pete about a month ago i strapped this bad boy on and i walk three miles every morning with this on uh, i've been you know purposely just sitting down doing whatever basically carrying this period it's comfortable it's great it, it i have no complaints whatsoever you know it's a nice easy holster to to put in and out quickly and that, that that's all you could really ask for you know and uh like I said, it's comfortable. I mean, no issues. So, anyways, I really would like you guys to show Pete some love, support small business. If you're looking for a holster, give Pete a shot. I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't do this video and I wouldn't be talking great about it if I didn't believe in it or like it. Um, I will be ordering more holsters uh from pete for sure i'm trying to figure out exactly what you know i'm going to order for you um but i will be ordering more pete one last kind of look at it i guess let's give you like pete would say let's give you a close-up on the package but like i said great no complaints great holster so here's a close-up of it without the gun in it and like I said free shipping anywhere in the US that's pretty awesome and um, I mean literally you email Pete he responds you have a question he's right there to answer it um, he can do custom stuff too if you're in the area and you can drop it off. That's the key. I have a gun that I want him to make a holster for so bad, but I don't live near him. He asked me to send him some pictures and it's just not going to quite work. But, Pete, the 3906 that I sent you, I want a holster so bad for this thing. And it's the same as a 5906, but you have the squared trigger guard. So somehow we can figure out how to do this. I'm almost thinking about sending a cardboard template to you, if that'll work. But I'm still trying to get a holster for this, and I would love Pete to make it. So you never know. Um, anyways, guys. Uh, great holster right here in america free shipping in the u.s pete is an awesome guy please check out his channel the armory channel it's really good uh, a lot of his newer stuff is obviously about the holsters and some guns if you go way back in his channel because he's been he's a pioneer man he's been around for like 12 years you will see like some cooking videos and he has like more range videos He's just got some funny stuff, you know, so um, channel's been around a long time. I want to say thank you to Abomi because Abomi is the one who told me to reach out to Pete about the holster for the 3906. What was crazy is I was already a subscriber to Pete, but he had gotten lost. One thing Abomi's pointed out is like, you know, all of a sudden you stop getting alerts on your YouTube channels. They like disappear. And then you start forgetting like who you're subscribed. Cause I'm subscribed to a lot of people. I mean, I like to support YouTube. So I kind of forgot about Pete in his channel. And then I was like, Oh, so now I started binge watching and, and now I'm trying to keep note, but I don't know if any of you guys have had this issue, but it's like all of a sudden, you're not getting the alerts and life's busy and then you you don't even realize that you're subscribed to this channel and you hadn't watched their stuff for a while and i want to support everybody i mean i, I really youtube's my thing well 
YouTube's my thing because I like the people that are on it. Not a fan of YouTube. Hopefully we can all get Rumble or something like that going. Uh, which I am on Rumble, by the way. Anyways, I have rambled on on this video, and I appreciate you guys watching. Please check out Armor Guard Holsters in the Armory channel. Give Pete a shout. Give him a chance. Great, great dude. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.